and subhanallah you find you know um i mentioned that there's there's a there's a call to rejuvenate and do tajdeed of the sciences right but you also find many tulab in of nowadays you know we completely ignore we ignore the quran and the sunnah honestly speaking subhanallah yani, and we completely ignore spending time doing not necessarily hifd of the sunnah for example yani, because that's not really matroob now alhamdulillah the asanid have been preserved there's no need to spend hours and hours memorizing it as opposed to the diraya so there's two types of knowledge in regards to the sunnah there's the riwayah and there's the diraya there's narration of it that is mustal al-hadith that is usul al-takhrij al-jarh ta'deed and it's important alhamdulillah but it's less important than it is to do diraya of that hadith it is less important than it is to gain tafaqqa or to understand and do fiqh of these hadith right so us as tulab al today those who seek knowledge a massive uh you know a massive error in the curriculum of today's day and age is that there is less focus on on hadith on nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and likewise the quran and in fact if you ask most tulab in to say there's something they just completely ignore Really, they ignore it, subhanAllah. Why is that the case? Shaykh of Islam, rahimahullah ta'ala, towards the end of his life, he said, if I have one regret, one regret, that regret is that I did not spend enough time with the Qur'an. Allahu Akbar. This is a man who read over 100 tafasir. How many tafasir have you read from cover to cover? Huh? This is someone who read over 100 tafasir. And yet he had this regret, subhanAllah. So it's a reminder for us to focus on the Qur'an and to focus on the Sunnah. And as we've covered, that is where all of the ilm is present. Allahumma we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for tawfiq.